Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm going to be your foodie tour guide today. We are currently on the Carnival Glory and I'm going to be sharing with you everything we ate on our seven night cruise. I am traveling in this video with my husband, Kelly. Like all cruise ships, there are many different dining options. For dinner, we chose the early seatings and we really enjoyed the other passengers that we sat with. So we ended up going every single night. On Carnival, you could choose early seating, late seating, or your time dining. This vegetable Wellington was really good. It was one of my favorite dinners. We're gonna be going over a lot in this video, so hang tight, grab yourself a drink, or maybe a snack, <laughs> and enjoy the tour. We really enjoy the full sit-down dinner, but sometimes it is hard to make it there for six o'clock. If you do happen to miss it, you'll find the same entrees later on at the buffet. At least it was in our experience on the Glory. I was able to get the vegetable Wellington again, though it was a little bit different. Let's start with coffee and ice cream. <laughs> you could get free coffee on the Lido deck all the time. Soft serve ice cream is available most of the time as well. One of our favorite dining experiences on the Carnival ships is the Sea Day Brunch. Obviously only available on Sea Days, it's an open seating in the main dining room. Open seating means you're not gonna have a reserved table. When you arrive, they're gonna seat you wherever the table is open that they wanna put you at. Of course, if you wanna sit alone, you can request that, but sometimes they'll seat you with others. There is an upcharge for some items like fresh pressed juice and beignets. There are regular menus available, but you have to ask for them. They really want you to use the scans that are on the table. One thing that we always order on the Sea Day Brunch is the yogurt parfait, it is delicious. I tried the flaming tomato soup. I didn't love it. I probably wouldn't get that again. But just like dinner, you could order anything you want. You could have an appetizer like the yogurt, then you could have the entrees. But make sure you save room for dessert because <laughs> there is dessert too at brunch. Another thing you could experience on sea days is the tea party. It's open seating as well. You get tea, little finger size sandwiches, and all these desserts to choose from. It's extreme. It's really cool to check out. On our cruise, this was held mid-afternoon on sea days. Dining with other passengers also gave me greater opportunities to take better videos. I got to check out their dinners as well. At first, I could always feel people like looking at me like, why is she taking videos of her food? <laughs> then later on, they're like, hey, do you want to take a video of my food too? <laughs> Every night there is an Indian vegetarian option, which I always take advantage of. Even if I'm ordering something else, I always like to try the new things. I know this is excessive, but you are allowed to order two entrees and no additional charge. The third entree that you would order, there's a $5 charge for. There was a lot of food coming in at our table. Everybody was taking full advantage of that fact that you could order more than one thing. Here are the names of some of the desserts that we did order. It was really hard for me to remember exactly what everything was. I'll tell you what, there are not too many desserts on Carnival that I do not like. They are really good, especially the chocolate melting cake. Now I'm going to show you a buffet breakfast up at the Lido deck. First thing open before the actual buffet is a continental breakfast, which consists of fruits and pastries. We always get up super early and enjoy the peace and quiet, have a coffee and then grab some continental breakfast. The continental breakfast is the same every day. If you're enjoying this video and finding it helpful, can you do me a favor and please hit the like button? It's fast and free to do. It just helps my channel's algorithm and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. The chocolate chip muffins are our favorites. Now we're gonna take a look at the regular breakfast buffet. This happens daily. Most of the items stay the same, but a few of them rotate. We did not choose to participate in the buffet this morning because it is a sea day and we wanna go to the brunch again. At the brunch, we could get our beautiful yogurt parfait. Yes, they have yogurt at the regular buffet, but it's so special when it's all made together. This is my husband, Kelly. The menu is exactly the same as the last one I showed you. This time, I'm gonna try the Eggs Benedict, and we're gonna try all the different potatoes and the corned beef hash, because <laughs> why not? My husband got the hamburger with the eggs on it. Cruising is a great way to try all your favorite foods and some that you may not normally order. Kelly never had a hamburger with an egg on it. Now we can say he did. Again, make sure you save room for dessert. The banana cream pie is a must try. We're back at dinner. I got my hands on an actual menu. I would like to mention they have a couple Emerald Selects on each menu, as well as menu items for an upcharge. 
There are also a couple typical everyday items that you could always expect that are always the same. And let's not forget dessert. And there's also a cheese plate you could order instead. There is also an opportunity to order wine or mixed drinks and an additional charge, unless you have the alcohol package. I enjoyed a beautiful espresso martini with my dinner. Here we go again with the foodie fashion show. <laughs> um, if you're enjoying this video, I'll leave a playlist of all the videos that I made. I made one of every single day, including the ports. If you'd like to check that out, I'll leave a playlist at the end of this video. Just click on it. It'll take you to the whole video series. Within those videos, you'll find longer versions of these videos where I get more descriptive about what everything was. This video was originally 40 minutes long. I had to cut it down to 18 minutes. Let's talk a little bit about dining. Like I said before, I chose early seating. There's also later seating, which is at eight o'clock or your time dining. That is a whole different dining room, a whole different dining experience. Carnival has an app, which is called the Carnival Hub. So when you're ready to dine, you would go in and say, I'm ready to dine. And they will give you a specific time to come in. It'll be more of a general open seating. Every night you're gonna have a different table and different people if you choose to sit with people that you'll be dining with. It's a great way to meet people and to create new memories. We decided to do the six o'clock every day with the same people and the same wait staff. We had a blast. So, you know, it depends on what you want to do and how flexible you are. Oh man, this is so good. I'm home starving. I'm on like keto now, watching all you sugary things. <laughs> Keep in mind, Carnival is a fun ship. So be prepared. You've been warned. Still more to come? Don't go anywhere. the next morning already this is like day three or four this trip is just cruising by this is another breakfast buffet but we decided we're going to go to the main dining room to have breakfast this morning this is a day that the carnival glory was parked in the waters by belize you could take a tender to belize and you know spend the day there but we decided that we were going to stay on the ship spend some time in serenity which is an adults only section i figured it's a good time to go there's probably not gonna be a lot of people there i ordered internet for the day worked on my videos my husband likes to listen to podcasts and audiobooks it was a really chill and relaxing and enjoyable day we're gonna actually have breakfast first though in the main dining room which is more of a sit down experience with the wait staff you can enjoy this breakfast experience, not on sea days because then you'll experience the sea day brunch. The food was really good. It was a nice experience. Love the avocado toast with the poached eggs. That was awesome. Open for lunch and a carnival passenger favorite is Guy Fieri's Burger Joint. Oh my gosh, this, these burgers are really, really, really good. This is counter service. It is on the Lido deck by the pool. You go and you stand in line, you pick your burger, and then you go to the toppings bar. And this is when things get crazy. <laughs> These toppings are delicious. I could honestly eat this every day, but I like variety, so I don't. We did eat this twice during our seven day cruise. I believe you could find Guy's Burger Joint on every carnival ship. Unless you're a vegetarian, I wouldn't miss this. Even if you are a vegetarian, you could probably enjoy the toppings bar. Really, really good. Another choice starting at lunch is the deli. The lines could get ridiculous here. So, you know, going on a day when everybody else was off the boat in Belize was a great time to try it. Everything is fresh and made to order. So the lines will take a little bit longer. And a lot of people like it. It was really good. This is a Caprice salad sandwich and a steak and cheese wrap. But my favorite part is the dipping sauces. Oh my gosh, they're so good. You could also order french fries and coleslaw there as well. My favorite sandwich was the chicken salad sandwich. It was delicious. We dined there two times during our seven day sailing. You are not gonna starve on a cruise. You're not gonna be hungry at all. We are full constantly, but there was so much food all the time. <laughs> Here's a look at the dinner buffet. But we chose not to eat there and save our appetite for the blue iguana cantina. Oh my gosh, another great place, love it. You could get tacos here, but today we are here for burritos. They have the most excellent salsa bar. Are you planning on sailing Carnival soon? Do you sail it all the time? Do you wanna add anything? Do you wanna share your experience? Please do, I would love to hear from you. I create these videos to help other people make better choices about their upcoming vacation plans. I started this channel probably about three years ago during COVID. 
I was in Orlando and I had nothing better to do. <laughs> so I started at this channel and I decided that I really like it. I like sharing my experiences and helping others. Want to hear something cool? Blue Iguana Cantina also serves breakfast. Definitely a nice alternative or addition to the buffet. It also has the salsa bar during breakfast too. The salsa bar can make anything taste amazing. If you like spicy things, that is. I do. I love flavorful, spicy foods. So this is a big hit for me and Kelly. And we love the fresh watermelon that you could get here too. Definitely one of our favorite spots. The food is freshly prepared, delicious, and the views are amazing. If you're a seafood fan, I have some good news and some bad news. They do have a great place that you can get seafood, but there is an upcharge for it. You can find it by the Azure Pool. It is counter service. We don't personally eat seafood ourselves, so we have never experienced it. Probably one of the most popular options on any carnival ship is the Pizza Pirate. It is open all the time. I think it closes at like four in the morning. Yes, there is a small window where no food is available from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. And would you look at that? It's time for dinner again. Let's see what is on the menu tonight. I gotta be honest, we've been eating all day and I'm not hungry at all. But we really enjoyed the company of the people that were sitting at our table and we wanted to see how their day was at Belize. So we went to dinner. Which brings me to another subject. There is other dining options for enough charge that you could go to. The Carnival Glory had a steakhouse. I've been down a Carnival of Venezia where there were several different options. So it depends on what ship you're on. We never even utilized it. We just kept going to our regular main dining room because we enjoyed the people we were sitting with and we really loved our wait staff. They were great and we were having fun. So we didn't really feel the need to go to the steakhouse. What else? The quality. I felt the quality is good. If you're looking for five star gourmet, this may not be for you, but I thought everything was good. Good to great. But if you're someone that really likes exceptional, this may not be for you. Carnival is fun. It feels warm and casual and joyous, but I wouldn't call it exceptional. I find that I walk around with a huge smile on my face when I'm on a carnival ship. And I wonder how I can make life this much fun every day. Let's look at some more food. Here's another buffet. Like I mentioned earlier, I follow a ketosis diet. It's keto, which is none of this. It's no sugar, no bread, no pasta. It's pretty much, I live on eggs, cheese, mostly vegetables. But when we're on a cruise, it's like game on. <laughs> we try a little bit of everything. The buffet foods are mostly good. I haven't found anything that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing I've ever had, but I haven't had anything that was ridiculously bad either. It was just all good because there were always salad and vegetable options. You probably could stay on a keto diet on a cruise. I just find it very difficult. There's just too many options and too many choices. And I don't know, I, I'm like, you know what? I'll deal with it when I get home. And I always do. The buffets themselves change between breakfast and lunch. And then again, between lunch and dinner. There are people there that are constantly cleaning and changing the chafing dishes, but they do not serve you. You mostly serve yourself. There is also a smaller limited item buffet later on at night that we never made it to. <laughs> Here is a sample of some of the entrees that they were serving this day. So of course I had to sample them all. Again, nothing was mind blowing, but they all were good. I think that may have covered everything. You're gonna, in a seven day cruise, get to try everything that you're gonna wanna try. Now I'm gonna take you for a peek at the steakhouse on the Carnival Glory. I'm looking online now, it's on deck 10 and I believe it's called the Emerald Room Steakhouse. Reservations are recommended. Now I'm gonna take you for a little food tour of our last dinner. Can't believe the week has gone by already so fast. First of all, I'd like to thank Carnival for having us and providing us with these great memories. I know cruising isn't for everyone and I know Carnival definitely isn't for everyone either, but it is for us, we love it and we had a blast. If you're still with me, I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video and taking our tour. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Love this strawberry soup. It was so refreshing and delicious. To sum it up, and I think you guys know what I'm gonna say, everything was good, you know, good to very good. You know, if you're looking for a Michelin award kind of, you know, dining experience, you're better off going on celebrity cruises. And there are probably more. That's just one in particular that I was just blown away by the dining. 
but everything was more gourmet. Here, everything's gonna be more family friendly. Items that you recognize on the menu that are familiar to you. I wanna touch briefly on the drink package. You pay per day and everybody in your cabin has to get it. So it makes it difficult to share the drinks. You're allowed to 15 drinks per day, which is a lot. <laughs> but if you start at eight in the morning, I guess you can do that. I would check with the Carnival website for actual exact prices. Do you and your family and friends use the drink package? How did it work out for you? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know about it. But cruising is definitely a great value if you like to eat. You could try all these wonderful foods. It's our last night on the Carnival Glory and we have to say goodbye to our wait staff and all our new friends. It's kind of sad. We had a great time though. If any of you guys are watching this, it was great meeting all of you. And we had the best table with the best view. Until next time, Carnival, and there will be next time. We will be back. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. I really hope you enjoyed our food tour of the Carnival Glory. Click one of these playlists for more videos about the Carnival Cruise Line. But whatever you do, make sure that you book that cruise and you pack your bags and you go. Life here on Earth isn't forever. Make the most of it. Always remember to be well to yourself and kind to others and safe travels to you.